Hello, Hello, welcome. This is Sports This Morning. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Always a delight to have you join us. I'm Austin Okonakpan. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Tayo Salam. Okay, now let's talk some sports. On the show this morning, we'll find out how Nigeria is getting for getting ready for the Under-20 Women's World Cup. Um, coach of the Under-20 Women's National Team, Peter Dedewa, has invited 30 players. And that tells you that the World Cup preparations have started. Yes. Mm. Busy, busy days ahead I know. for uh, the Falconets, mm. um, for the Super Falcons as well. And, the, and even the Flamingos. <laughs> Foot, women's football will get us very busy. And leaving the Falconets, let's go to the Super Falcons. They're getting ready also for the African Women's Cup of Nations. That's the coach right there, Florence Omagbemi. She yeah. says no complacency. They will not underrate anything. Remember, Nigeria has been grouped alongside Kenya. Ghana and Mali. Yeah, tough, tough, tough group uh, right there. And Austin, I, I believe, I think I want to believe that uh, Florence and Magbin was watching the show. I know. Uh, when you were <laughs> saying you could go to sleep. But like I said, yeah. the coaching crew, the mm. players, they're not going to sleep. That's right. And that's why we've got that declaration uh, from Florence and Magbin saying no complaints that's and say right. at all. So that's a very good way uh, to start. Also on the show, I mean, hmm. Austin, oh my God. Yaya Toure, Pep uh, Guardiola, and Dimitri Setuk, his agent. Yaya Toure hasn't played a lot for Manchester City hmm. uh, this um, season. And Pep Guardiola, you know, ahead of today's game against the Swansea, has been stating exactly what happened, why Yaya Toure hasn't played. Basically, he's drawn the battle line. Wow. He says if Yaya Toure doesn't apologize to Manchester City, to apologize to his teammates, and then to him, Guardiola is not going to play for um, City again. He's basically saying his career is over unless he apologizes. And um, that's, that's like drawing the battle line. I don't, not like. That's the battle line drawn right <laughs> there by Pep. I don't know what's going on. When Pep wants you out, you're, you leave. Gone. Nasri knew he wasn't going to have a good time. Yes. He left. Um, Joe Hart knew it was going to be difficult. Yes. He left. What was Yaya thinking? I don't know. I don't he know. should have left. Especially when these two guys, you know, have history. You know, back in the days of Barcelona when uh, Yaya Toure, um, Pep Guardiola, you know, replaced uh, Frank Reichert as manager. Mm. I mean, he got rid of Yaya Toure, got rid of Samuel Leto, you know, got rid of um, De Deco, Ronaldinho, and the like. So there's history uh, between these two guys already. So uh, I can't really... I uh, can't really answer why uh, uh, Yaya Toure uh, didn't uh, make really? that move you yeah. know, before the transfer window closed. I mean, Yaya is top class. Could have any gone day. anywhere. He any could have day. gone to Arsenal. Yes. He could have gone to any top club in Europe that he wanted. He was he trying to prove a point? And Pep yeah. Guardiola saying he needs to apologize. I think he's speaking to the wrong man. Dimitri has been doing all the talking. All the talking, yes. Why are you so, telling Yaya to apologize? I don't know. I mean, it's saying basically what Guardiola is saying now is that his agents you know, said some things in the past you know, that didn't go, you know, down uh, well with him. So, he has to apologize now on behalf of oh Yaya Toure. Because, I mean, Yaya Toure hasn't really said a lot wrong. Uh, he hasn't done a lot wrong. He's oh been no. turning up to training. He's been training. He's been mm. a thoroughbred uh, professional. Right. So, um, this is a very, very uh, interesting one. Um, Pep Guardiola right now is a very popular man in Manchester. He, he looks to see if he can do whatever he likes and nothing is going to happen. Remember, he's already gotten rid of Joe Hart. Yeah. You know, he's gotten rid of Joe Hart, absolute Manchester City legend. Mm. He got rid of, he didn't give him, Easily. He, didn't, he didn't even give him a chance wow. you know, to show, you know, what he's capable oh of doing. So, um, it looks like uh, Yaya Toure is at the point of no return now, it's unless... January is done. If yeah. he doesn't leave in January, on He's... behalf of the African <laughs> Union and African brothers, style, we need to go carry our brother out of Manchester City. I mean, because City. it's still, a, it's still a very good player. Don't ruin your career because you just want to be at a particular club. I don't get it with coaches. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting what goes on through their minds yeah. and head at times. Um, because uh, Yaya Toure, at oh 33, uh, still has a lot you know, to offer. Mm -hmm. But then a coach has the right, you know, it's the prerogative of a coach, you know, to decide who plays for him. Wow. He's got to make that tough decision. And obviously, Yaya Toure is not in his plans. I think all this talk about the agent apologizing oh, or not, I, I think it's just Guardiola trying to pull yeah. the wool over our eyes. I'm tell you, I'm in charge. You don't need to go about saying you're in charge. Everyone yeah. knows you're in charge of the team at Manchester City. Yes. He, just needs to, he tried to do this in Barcelona when they went on a pre-season tour in the United States. He said they shouldn't take a particular drink. And Messi 
sat in front of him, crossed his leg, and took that drink, and Pep did nothing. And why is he coming all out on Yaya now just because Yaya Toure is not willing to say anything, he just wants to be the professional, yes. as you mentioned that it is. But I don't like this because Pep is drawing the battle line, and he's not needed because he can't even right? distract his team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but as it is right now, you know, he's a very popular guy. City are doing very well. They've won five games in a row. Well, Arsenal, let's just go quickly and listen to the conditions uh, by Pep Guardiola <laughs> for Yaya Toure oh, to return okay. to first team action uh, with Manchester City. It was so difficult for me to put it out in the Champions League. So difficult. Because I know him, I know he's a good, good guy. But it was difficult for me as well for Alex Garcia. The only two guys that are out because the list is the list. But the day after his manager spoke, in that moment, Yaya yeah, is out. Except Mr. Dimitri Salou came back in the press conference, all his friends in the media, because he has not courage to call me, go to the media and say, apologize to Manchester City, the first one, the second one, his teammates, and after the trainer. When that happened, Yaya will be part of the group and he will have the same chance to play all the games. Because I cannot accept, like a coach, every manager when he doesn't play, what his player go to the media and speak and speak and speak. It depends. I know how loves Dimitri Saluk to Yaya Toure. If he loves me, show me and make apologize to the Manchester City what he did in the journalist. I cannot imagine my period when I was a football player, my manager go to the media and speak against Johan Cruyff and said about this, about that. Maybe it's the new area, you know, the new period changing, but I'm old guy. I'm all the uh, old generations. The old generations, manager has to make his job, players his job, and trainer his job. And today the managers believe they are more than they are. So, you have a problem, call Chiki Begista in the club, and can talk. Until he doesn't speak, yeah, yeah he's not going to play. I have just listened to Pep telling us what a manager needs to do. Let's what boss. about trying to let a player understand that you belong part of a team also? Mm. It's the boss. It's the boss, Austin, you know. Uh. He, can, he has all that power, you know, to do whatever he likes, you know, as long as um, it has to do with the first team of Manchester City. And that's what Pep Guardiola is doing. Um, the agent, surely made a very very swift response uh to what uh Pep Guardiola, he didn't waste time at all yeah. dimitri is still didn't mm -hmm. waste time it's come out yeah. swinging yeah. you know and austin i mean it says what do i need to apologize for that's right Guardiola wins a few games and he thinks it's king ah i live in europe so i can say whatever i like and Guardiola can stop that's me. what it is freedom of speech freedom of speech right this is Guardiola also needs to apologize to joe Hart. <laughs> it is not normal and it is not right to come to england and to get rid of the few English players. When you come to a country, you must respect the country and respect and its people. people. So basically what he's saying is hmm. Guardiola hasn't shown any kind of respect uh, for Pep Guardiola. Remember, Guad uh, hmm. uh, Suri was left out of the Man uh, Manchester City squad for, for the, the Champions, Champions League. League. That's that's, that's ridiculous. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, yeah, Ture. Yeah, Ture has absolutely won everything now for Manchester City. He's won, I mean, so many winners all in the oh last two, three years. And for him not to even be good enough to play in the Champions League group stage, you can understand why the, the agent, yeah. the Seluk, is a bit pissed. Because that's his client right there. He's looking out for his best interest. Absolutely. Whatever he has to do, he has to do it. So, Seluk has business in mind. Yeah. I need to ship my player to the next big club. Don't reduce his value. Don't touch his reputation. That's it right there. That's, doing. And that's why he's clapping back. And in all of this, Yaya has yeah, not said anything. No, it's just, it's and is just... Oh my God, Ty. Yeah. We also hear that he's going to retire from international football. He's going to retire from international football, Austin. I mean, he's actually, you know, announced his retirement. He did that, you know, yesterday. He said it was a very difficult, you know, decision, you know, to arrive at. But then... I think he's paid his dues uh, yeah, for uh, Cote d'Ivoire already. Mm. You know, this is surely the crowning uh, moment uh, yeah. of his international career when they won the African Cup of Nations. You know, so uh, Yaya Toure, in terms of international football, I think uh, it, it's only right. He moves on now and focuses on his... It's uh, part of this. No, I don't think so. Psychologically uh, tired. No. Things are wrong. 
Yeah, I, I don't think this has, you know, has, um, this retiring from international football has anything to do uh, with his um, club. I think it just feels it's time up, you know, let other guys and other young uh, stars come and play. These guys ruled African football. He's won the CAF Award several times. Yeah, I mean, four times the, player of the African uh, player of the oh year. You know, he's an absolute mm. football legend in Africa. Uh, so, yeah. But then, I'm very interested to see how this pans out. I mean, it looks like there's going to be only one winner in this battle. Mm -hmm. And I step Guardiola, we're Austin. Going, we're going to know because Yaya yeah, yeah, will start talking when he eventually leaves. When he leaves, City yes. In January. He's so going to leave. Pep should say everything he wants to say. And we wish him all the best because when things start going wrong, going wrong. that's what Dimitri is trying to tell him now. Yes. You don't win a few <laughs> games, I think you're king. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, wow, Austin. what a story. What a, what story. a story. And it concerns us because we're African. Of course. And Yaya Suri has done a lot. What's great the ambassador African of African football. football. Yeah, great. I've been, I've been trying to look at something that has stained his image and I can't find. Mm. This guy is just a jolly good fellow, professional to the core, plays his football, and gets out there, yeah. does his business, and has also been influential to Yaya Suri's career. Exactly, and the quality is just not in doubt. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Yaya Suri right now you know, is still one of the best you know, midfielders you know, in the Premier League. So, uh, for him to be treated like this uh, uh, is a bit uh, strange. Yeah? But like I said, uh, Pep Guardiola is the manager. Uh, you know, it is prerogative to choose who plays and who doesn't play. We've seen him make these decisions before, so it hasn't really come as a surprise to me and you, uh, Austin. Yeah, it's just that it's happening to Yaya Toure now uh, and his yeah. uh, you know, stage of his and career his where to he needs first, uh, yeah. to be playing. I know. Pep needs to read some books from Jose Mourinho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, he okay. Now to, that you bring yeah, up Jose, because if it's yeah. Jose, the world will. Mm. Now know. that you bring Jose, I mean, contrasting you know ways of doing things and Jose and uh, Pep Guardiola. Jose's gone to Manchester United. Mm. He's like he's given everybody a chance. He hasn't really, apart from um. Uh, Schweinsteiger, you know, he hasn't really, you know, gotten rid of anyone. Even mm. Wayne Rooney, a lot of fans want him out of the team. Fellaini, he's given them a chance, you know, just to show that they have what it takes to play for Manchester United. Go to Man City, it's totally different from what um, Guardiola is doing. He's mm. just gotten rid of the players he feels kind of fit into his own philosophy. Are we not listening? And based on results, you say it was winning. He's winning. Yeah, he's winning. So, he's so winning. Just say he's bringing everybody together. <laughs> And they're not playing too well, at least in the last three oh games. Why July sent packing the guys that doesn't feel are good enough to play for him and is winning. So I don't know. It's um, it's um. I think you said Jose is looking like he's changing. He's, yeah, so soft. Some of us are thinking he's looking weak. He's soft. Yeah. And then he's not getting the result. And this guy just comes ruthless. Just, ruthless. And he's winning. And he's winning. So I mean, so ah, so. <laughs> Tough, Pep Guardiola, uh, yeah. winning in every way you can think about it in Manchester City. And he's saying that, look, out. I'm the boss. I take all the decisions. If I don't want you, you are out. And Tayo, in the long run, yes. particularly when you want to look at the history, because when you look at some clubs, you just need some certain players that have been part of their success of, story. Yeah. And you need them around. Yeah, yeah, is part of the success yes. story of City. Yes. He's, in, he's, a, he's a major, major part. Yeah. Uh, same with Joe Hart. Mm. And, you know, those two guys, especially, I mean, uh, the way they've been treated. Um, not mm. good enough, but eh, that's football sometimes. You have to adapt uh, with the times. It's funny, but we will talk about it. That's football for you. What a story. The battle line has been drawn at Manchester City. It's, a, it's against uh, Dimitri, Pep Guardiola, <laughs> and of course, Yaya Toure. We'll continue to monitor the situation. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, women's football in Nigeria, we get our attention. Don't go anywhere. Stay.